Howdy there, payloads. Welcome back to Mr. Jellybean's channel for Fortnite. Today, I'm gonna show you guys a first place solo victory that Jellybean got. One of his hundreds and thousands of victories. Anyways, I decided to stop by Pleasant Park. Just so, you know, Jellybean can find more people to kill and also get better stuff. Because Jellybean likes to do that stuff. Well... As you see right away I got a chug jug and if you do get that at the beginning I would recommend you drink it right away just because it's more beneficial to have full health and you're always going to be winning gunfights if you have full health and decent aiming so I just cut out the parts from this video to the most interesting parts where you will see Jelly Bean and how the master slay Jelly Bean kills all the noobs so this noob's trying to shoot me right here I decided to build a little fort. I tagged him up a couple times with a bird, don't know how he didn't die. But I guess you could say Jelly Bean has accuracy like Ninja. <coughs> so I finally get the guy, he was one shot the whole time. Now, I'm trying to clear out Pleasant Park. I know there's a noob somewhere in here. You can't just get one kill in Pleasant Park, there's always at least seven people. <laughs> Man, if I died right there, I would have been pretty pissed off, but anyways, uh, I, I knew there was still a lot of more people here, so I was waiting to see what this guy would do before I started rushing him. And I always recommend, guys, if you do rush, which I think is really good, you know, just try to build two staircases when you're going towards them, or ramps, or whatever. Now, this guy is John Wick. So, yes, many people will think he's good, but he's <laughs> Oh, As you see, as soon as you tag someone up, it might be a good idea to rush them. Because it's really, really hard to win the gunfight when you have low health. Even though you have an amazing fort, you just gotta get shot a couple times and you lose. I usually like to run along the storm. Just so I can catch those noobs that come in in the last second and try to get some easy kills. So, here's Jelly Bean. Going to him again with the heavy shotgun. As you see. Wow, Jelly Bean! What a lovely shot that was! Thank you, everybody. At this point, I know I was uh, pretty far as far as the storm, but I picked up a launch pad, so. Got nothing to worry about. I was missing a lot of my shots too. <laughs> Listen, nerd, anytime you want to drink a slurp, use a bad day, or any of that stuff, just make sure you have a sword shield around you. You see right here, I start messing up my building. Don't know why. But, see this guy, and see the other guy in the corner of my eyes, because Jelly Bean has eagle vision. And I know he's gonna try to kill Jelly Bean first. So now I just have to think of a plan to kill him. So I was like, hmm, let's use a little bait and switch. He thinks I'm going to go all the way up there on top of my fort. So Jelly Bean manipulates him. Now pro tip, go under the... They do something like that, just go under the just way easier than trying to figure out how to protect yourself from them building. Because eventually they're going to have to jump down and as you see here, Jelly Bean once again uses a clutch launch pad because he knew the storm was going to eat him up. If you're ever on top of a mountain and you see someone running, just just start shooting them. There's no way they should be able to kill you if you have the high ground. Once again, decent aim. Come on! Okay,
So at this point the match got pretty crazy, he was just getting shot from everywhere. And that's what he said. Close out the RG. He killed himself because he didn't want to fight Jelly Bean. Of course I gotta take the RPG. I know my health was low and I did see that med kit, but this guy was just chucking grenades. So I didn't want to be a victim. So what I decided to do, I know that he was going to keep throwing grenades at my fort. I just had to find someone else because that guy didn't know where he was. So I just go all the way across the map. Start building my own little fort made of steel, which is probably the best idea in the last. If you're one of the last few people, it just takes a little bit longer to build, but they never destroy it. Except for this guy who wouldn't stop shooting me. So I know I should have switched wood at this point. It was a one-on-one, -on -one, and I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of this gameplay. You already know what's gonna happen. Maybe we don't lose one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> like the video, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have lovely days.